For today's five minute makeup tutorial, we're gonna create this quick and easy smoky look. This is part of a series where I created three different looks using all of the same products, but with different placement. All you're gonna need is liner. This can be gel or pencil in any deep shade you want. Next, you're gonna need a shadow that works with the liner. So I picked brown and brown eyeshadow. And finally, you're gonna need a shadow at least one shade lighter and one shade darker. This is gonna be used to contour and highlight your eye shape. This is going to be super easy and super quick, so let's get started. With every look that we create, you want to start off with a good base, especially true for a smoky eye. Eyeshadow primers will help create a barrier between your skin, but it'll also make sure that we have a neutral blank canvas for the smoky eye to sit on top of. It also prevents your eyeshadows from going very muddy and over blended. So if you feel like it always just looks like a kind of a bruisey mess, just apply an eyeshadow primer. It will give you more grip and more hold. The first shadow that we're using should be at least one shade lighter than your skin tone and this is going to be used to brighten up underneath the eyes and then you're going to slowly bring this down into about the crease area and slightly onto the lid with whatever's left over on the brush. What this is going to do is create more of a contrast with the smoky eye so having a nice clean area underneath the brows will definitely bring out the smokiness that's going to be on the lid. Next, I'm gonna take the gel liner. I'm basically pressing this at the lash line. However, what we wanna do is we want to go up a little bit higher. Now, what I like to do when I'm using an angled brush is I start in the middle, but I always make sure that the pointed angle is to the outer edge, bringing it to the middle. And then when I do the inner corner, I flip it around to get to the inner corner and blend it to the middle again. This is a great way to make sure you're not creating just one line from the inner corner all the way to the outer corner, particularly if you don't have steady hands. For the next step, you want to use a shadow that matches your liner. This can be any deep tone that you want. And I'm going to be using a pencil brush to apply this. What I like to do is I like to push it down with my index finger. What this does is it creates more of a fan shape, which is great for smudging. It also gives me a little bit more control. So I'm only applying a small amount over the liner. Once I apply the shadow, then I can open up the brush and start to slowly smudge this over the top of everything else. This is just going to make sure that we're not going up too high, but we're still creating that nice smudgy effect and setting the liner in place as well. We don't want to bring this smokiness up too high. We want to keep it to the lower half of the lid working across the lash line. Now to create more depth and more shape, we're going to take a shadow at least one shade darker than your skin tone, or you can use your contour or your bronzer as long as it's matte. We're going to start by sweeping this into the crease of the eye. Keep your hand nice and high as you're blending and also keep your eyes open. This is a great way to see the shape that you're creating. Bear in mind when you're blending, you don't want to blend up too high. Keep that highlight underneath the brows to add some more contrast with the smokiness. Now, if you feel like this isn't smoky enough for you, you can actually go in and reapply a little bit of that brown shadow, keeping this on the lower part of the lid. A little will go a long way, particularly because we've already applied our contour shade on the lid. So just very slowly build this up until you get the smokiness that you like. Now to add more smokiness, I'm gonna take that gel liner and push this in between the lashes. This is a totally optional step. I know that some people find this a little ticklish, so you can definitely skip it if you want, but it does add a little bit more depth and a little bit more smokiness. I went ahead and applied some lashes and these ones are a little bit more dramatic, but you can just build up your natural lashes if you want. That's what I like about smoky eyes. You don't always need false lashes with them, but they definitely add some more drama. And I want to add some more drama underneath the eyes as well. So I'm going to smudge whatever's left over on my brush just at the lower lash line. And then what I'm also going to be doing is pushing this onto the waterline as well. This is just going to give us an overall smoky effect, but you can skip doing anything on the lower lash line and just apply it lots of mascara if you want. I know some people worry about it smudging underneath and going down onto their cheeks. So you can always keep this area clean, but just apply lots of mascara. I love, love applying lots of mascara on the lower lash line with a smoky eye. It just brings the entire look together. And that's the finished look. I really hope that you will try this one out. Super easy to recreate. I'd love to see it if you do recreate it. And let me know what shadows you like to use, what shades you like to use. And if you give it a go, I'd love to hear how it went. And as always, my friends, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I'll see you in the next one.